the 2018 Civil Society Prize will reward projects celebrating in identities, European values and cultural heritage. The EESC received 150 applications from civil society organisations and individuals from no less than 27 member states. The €50,000 prize is shared among five winning projects with the intention of further boosting their community-oriented work. Whilst Europe is experiencing a crisis of confidence and populist movements are surging, pushing many countries to succumb to the temptation of turning inward, these projects draw on the power of European values and cultural heritage to fight for a fairer society where no one is left behind. They demonstrate that instead of dividing us, our diverse identities can bring Europeans together again. Here are the five winners. The Greek organization Balkans Beyond Borders uses the art of short film to bring together diverse audiences from the Balkans, helping them to overcome differences rooted in the region's turbulent past. The Balkans Beyond Borders Short Film Festival takes place every year in a different Balkan city with engaging themes. It features work by filmmakers from the Balkans and beyond, sparking cultural exchange within the Balkans and bringing the region's vibrant and diverse culture closer to the rest of the EU. The Echo Museum, run by Italian social cooperative Aria Nuova, helps people with mental disabilities to experience art and cultural heritage firsthand, asserting that the right to culture is universal. The Echo Museum takes mental health patients from residential units in Campania on guided visits to cultural and heritage sites in the region. Afterwards, the participants creatively express what they saw, understood and felt in participatory workshops. The Echo Museum hopes to reduce the sense of isolation for people with special needs and to make them feel more accepted in society. Danube Networkers for Europe from Germany promotes innovative learning for all generations and helps older citizens, women and people with few qualifications to play a more active role in society. Its Tastes of Danube Bread Connects project uses the concept of bread as intangible cultural heritage that unites Europeans. Under the project, a virtual cultural bread route across Europe will be created to explore different bread-related traditions and history and to raise awareness about common cultural roots in the Danube area and in Europe. The project's bread-baking events and festivals bring together people of all ages, ethnicities and social backgrounds under the motto United in Diversity. Women from immigrant families and of colour account for nearly 10% of all students in Germany, but they seldom get the job they deserve. This prompted five female volunteers to launch the SWANS initiative, the first of its kind in Germany. SWANS organizes career and leadership seminars for high potential university students from this group of women. It teaches them networking and other skills and empowers them to follow their chosen career paths, aiming to end discrimination against them on the job market. Since 2015, Safe Passage from the UK has helped some 1,500 child refugees reach sanctuary via safe and legal routes. Its cultural campaign, 80 Years On, Child Refugees Still Need Safe Passage, draws parallels between the current situation and the Kindertransport rescue operation from World War II in which British people took in children fleeing Nazi persecution. It hopes to maintain these safe routes after the UK leaves the EU and to win stronger public support for today's youngest refugees. 80 years on, child refugees still need safe passage. Now it's our turn. We are safe passage. 